And we welcome you to ESPN College Football presented by PlayStation 4. As we get set for the Georgia Bulldogs opening the season ranked number three in the country and hosting what should be an FCS playoff contender this season, the Governors of Austin P. And we welcome you to Sanford Stadium. I'm Beth Mowens along with Anthony Becht. Rocky Boyman is with us today as well. Anthony, it's a Georgia team that played for a national championship a year ago. They think they've got the pieces in place to be in that title hunt again. Well, there's only one way they do it. We've seen the Clemsons and the Bamas of the world. They don't rebuild, they reload. And this is what Kirby Smart has done. He's gone out and got some of the best young talent in the country. The question is, can he coach them up and get them ready to go to play now for this rugged SEC schedule? Georgia will take the field first. It's Mecole Hardman, an all SEC punt returner back deep for the Bulldogs, and Austin P will keep it away from him and kick it to the up man instead, and it's Brian Herrion. And so much poise he showed in that postseason run for Georgia. They'll open up with four receivers, and this is the new tailback, DeAndre Swift replacing Sony Michelle and Nick Chubb, the dynamic duo last year. Out of the gun and out of the backfield is Swift. And he will lunge across midfield and pick up the gain of about eight to move the chains. Backfield, they may have upwards of four or five guys to choose from back there. Crumpton with the catch and another first down. Akeel, the coaches told us, had the best camp of any guy on the team coming into the new year. Downs up front. On first and 10, they'll run behind that group, and it's Swift down to the 19. So Georgia into the red zone quickly. Hit on 20 of his 23 attempts a year ago. Good for 87% accuracy. And the first points on the board of the new season for third-ranked Georgia. And a 3-0 lead over Austin P. Electric. The fans were here early to cheer this team on. Boy, they are excited coming off that trip to the national championship a year ago. Ahmad Turner will get the call there on second down. And Kirby Smart running backs today. He's out with a suspension for a couple of games. Receiver screen. Now Wilson's going to come up a couple yards short. William Poole, the sophomore out of Atlanta with the coverage. Nice job. Jake starting out today four of six to four different receivers with a catch. And now it's Swift breaking tackles out to the 35-yard line and a run of 15. Touch to about five yards up the line, so it's going to be one of those days with a back like Swift. Good, you're picking up the tempo on a very hot and humid day in Athens, and it's to Swift out to the 45. Made the move from right tackle to left tackle this year. From with time, Brian Herrion out of the backfield. Nice twist at the 50, and that will get him about 10 more yards as he left Shalato behind. Four receivers, including the tight end nod of the motion man here on third and seven. From all day, Swift going to have to get it himself, and he does. Hurdling a defender at the 19. First down, Georgia. From Ridley, caught at the three, into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. Under four minutes. The SEC has seen his brother Calvin do it for so many years at Alabama. Now it's time for Riley Ridley to make his name. Touchdown, Georgia. trying to throw an option at you. They got a hustle here to get the snap off. They do just in time. Trouble on the pitch. Ball on the deck. The scramble for it. And George has got it. DeAndre Walker. Andrew 
Thomas, number 71. He's going to get a nice block down and really pinch this whole thing off. He played right tackle last year, and he just basically opens up the hole. Swift has a nice job getting through untouched. Help themselves out with the pass in this series. We'll go to Ahmad Turner. The sophomore out of Dalton, Georgia there. Hydrate before the second quarter on a hot and steamy day in Athens, Georgia. Dog Nation excited about the third ranked team in the land. First and ten, Craig will keep trying to get the edge, and it's Tyson Campbell, one of those highly Anthony recruited just... freshmen there with a stop. Rock. Quarterback will keep, and it's going to be close. Monty Rice able to track him down, and the spot has him short. First, we want to get to the debut of Justin Fields, the number one ranked recruit in the country. The true freshman out of Kennesaw, Georgia, and Harrison High School is now in at quarterback. And he'll hand it off to Elijah Holyfield. May have gotten a yard. So the pride of the Harrison Hoyas is in, who originally committed to Penn State, switched to Georgia. The number one overall ranked player in the ESPN 300 class. And oh, by the way, he spent some of his summer playing for Cam Newton's seven-on-seven -seven All-Star team. Get it down the field. He's just been remarkable, and, and that we're going to see some of that today. And this is another attribute he brings to the table: a power runner taking on a TV right there. That's pretty good. You got to watch that. In the left hand, third down and a few. They'll run the end around, and it's the new guy, Demetrius Robertson, the transfer from California, coast to coast touchdown. Star recruit, speed. He's another element that will help this Georgia offense springboard itself to one of the best teams in the nation. Any mistake you might make, and it allowed the rest of the defense to be aggressive because he knew Bob was going to just clean it up. Pass broken up. They went after the freshman again, Tyson Campbell. He had the coverage. The learning process games like this against Austin P. Get a nice lead. These are valuable reps that this young man can get. Fields tucks it, runs, takes out the umpire out to the 45-yard line. Straight drop with time. Now looking for an alley to run, and he finds one and scoots out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Got away from Gunnar Shalato. Sides of the field every single day, and they're going to play the best players, and you're going to have to earn it every single week. Fields. The crossing route, Riley Ridley, first down inside the 20 as he picks up 12 yards. Runs where your guards have to pull. They don't do much of that anymore because of the fact that they want to be bigger because the D tackles are bigger. Holyfield, breaking tackles, touchdown! What a run by Elijah, 17 yards across the width of the field. Perfect start to the season for the dogs. Cutting back, making plays, getting downhill, making people miss. If it's Swift, is it Holyfield, is it Cook? They got a lot of guys making plays. On third and three, Brenton Cox mauled the quarterback, forcing the quick pitch. And look at this second chance opportunity. Nope, whistle dead. Whistle dead. I mean, the quick drops, the footwork. He said he watched a lot of Aaron Rodgers and Jimmy Garoppolo in the offseason. You know, two younger quarterbacks, especially Garoppolo. Live another day, put yourself in a position to win. Good protection again. Wide open is Hardman at the 40. Inside the 10. Miko Hardman, touchdown Georgia. It's a busted coverage. Nobody finds him when he loops inside. He's wide open. But this is the difference maker. Split two defenders. They have angles. And he shoots out of a cannon. That's why the reason why he's the third leg of the track team at Georgia.
They're fast. You know, uh, how many passes they catch. But these, these guys are kids. They're students. They have life, social lives. Uh, they have other things going on. And it's just a good opportunity for me and Rocky. 38 to nothing. An impressive start to the season for the Georgia Bulldogs at the half here in Athens. And now let's get you back to the studio with Adnan Burke. They got a second and four here. Good push again by Eric Stokes to get right into the backfield. We're from right now, understands protections, pointing guys out, doing different things. So the playbook a little bit different when both guys are in the game. And there's the completion. Out to the 38-yard line. And, and try to, you know, build it like the Clemsons and the Alabamas. Year to year, be that top-tier team. The new locker room that also includes back there a... Uh, third and five. And they will not get the distance. D'Angelo Wilson with the catch. And D'Angelo Gibbs with the cover rock. Of course, Texas A&M and the Jimbo Fisher era opened with a big win. A couple of nights ago, James Cook with the burst. Inside the 20 yard line, shoved out by Malik Davis. Uh, Davis. Catch the ball. You know, they, they, they can go out and run between the tackles, they can run uh, a reverse. Oh, what a move by the tight end, Isaac Nauta spinning away from the defender. 12 yards for the touchdown. By him with Denver and ultimately propelled them to get them some championship rings. Todd Gurley may be next. He only lost out by what 22 yards a year ago for the NFL title. Downing is the freshman out of Alpharetta, Georgia. And he'll hand it off to his classmate Cook. Breaking a tackle to cut back at midfield and down to the 44. Three rush yards today. Defensive lineman for Austin P. They uh, both sides have agreed to shorten this fourth quarter. <laughs> Kelly for the Bruins, as well as their young court or their new quarterback, Wilton Spate. Late night tonight, BYU and Arizona as the Kevin Sumlin era begins. And how about the moves right here for Akil Crumpton? And a flag is down. In the place. Big lick in the backfield. Anderson was the guy that got there. Now, I don't know where they're going to go on the tape and find something positive that came out of this football game to get their team better. Uh, you know, you didn't want to get any injuries. They may have lost their center. Might be the last play of this one. And that will probably do it. The Georgia Bulldogs open up with a shutout win over Austin P. 45 to nothing, the final. And the handshake for Kirby Smart and Will Healy. A rough day for the Govs, but they can now set their sights on their FCS schedule and what could still end up being a playoff season for them. And of course for Georgia, their mind's on a playoff as well. Way down the line, they've got work to do as they will open up SEC play on the road at South Carolina next Saturday. Thank you, Rocky. That's it from Athens. Our final score, the Bulldogs beat the Govs. 45 to nothing coming up next, Cincinnati and UCLA. But for right now, let's get you back to the studio as the dogs pick up the W to open up the new year.